question, I don't think it's philosophical. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> what happens if tomorrow somebody says, uh, the deal's off, we're done talking about this bridge, it isn't going to happen? What happen? Is there some catastrophic thing that would happen to our area if uh, this whole thing just went away? Well, who's, who's the somebody that says we're not going to build the project? Well, there is a... Since we're talking philosophically. Well, there are a number <laughs> of people who, who believe that the project should not be built. There's is no it question the project or the way it's financed or... A whole multitude yeah. of things. Yeah. But what I'm asking... What the, happens if it doesn't get built? Right. Okay. Is, there, is there some uh, catastrophic thing that happens to Southwest Washington? I think Portland? Southwest Washington, even probably more than Portland... Uh, suffers economically severely. This is such a major economic corridor, not only for the Port of Vancouver, uh, and even on the Washington side, forget about the bridge for a second, trying to get in and between the, in the, our piece of the five mile segment uh, and the way the accidents happen on this corridor, the fact that you still have a stoplight daily on the freeway where the bridge lifts, and uh, the whole issue of in and around Vancouver and the connection that we and people who live in this area have with Portland for work, for commerce, for quality of life, I think it's devastating. And that bridge on the northbound leg is uh, almost 100 years old, 1917. Do you think and there's a it's not going to hold up forever. So, so do you think that there's a safety issue involved? Well, for sure. There's a safety issue at every interchange where we have short merges that in the designs of those interchanges are outdated for the volumes of traffic that we have so we have a lot of accidents in this area we have daily slow commutes and and uh, traffic delays and we have two major international ports that are trying to operate in and through plus not to mention all the folks that want to come from north of here to south of here not just in, even in the Portland and Vancouver area so one day the northbound bridge isn't going to work and then what are we going to do? We have no shoulders on those bridges. We have the lift issue that we currently have, even on the water. Uh, what we hear from the Coast Guard is the navigable stream and the way the pil por pillars and, and foundations are now don't work very well for the future and for the larger bridges and the larger, deeper drafts. So it's a problem. Okay. And so, you know, I, I can't believe that there are people who think this project shouldn't be built. Um, and so I get very irritated when I think that we might all walk away from it. A, that we've spent, yes, $140 million, which, by the way, isn't out of line for projects of this significance and size. Um, and that's one thing I, I do want to mention. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But the, the last thing I wanted to um, comment on was the fact that we now have the tolling authority in the Senate, and we're pushing very quickly to get the House uh, to passed their bill, which is a concurrence of the Senate bill, I think we've gained a lot of